Alrighty guys, what is up? Welcome back to Factorio with Lone Debater 7. And today, we are going to start out by getting our copper kind of set up. It looks like we need another drill for the iron, actually, so let's do that first. JK. We'll do copper in just a second, but uh, we're going to need some drills for this anyhow, so not a big deal. We'll go ahead and build a couple drills. We'll put those on iron, and then we're gonna make some circuits in the meantime. I'm gonna grab out these furnaces. 40 is way more than we'll ever fucking need, most likely. So, not a big deal. But we're gonna throw down these two on iron because it does appear that we are running a little bit low on iron ore. So, one of the things you kinda learn to recognize in this game is that when your belts aren't full uh if it's so like on this belt it's empty all the way at the bottom of iron ore so these two furnaces aren't even running um so that means we need to increase our iron ore production and this isn't even going all the way because it's full of fucking plates so if we clear all these plates off um i'll just throw a couple in there because i don't need to carry that many iron plates with me um you can tell that we needed more iron there. So anyway, uh, let's go ahead, throw this in. We're going to switch this back to copper and let that go. We got 13 circuits, so we're going to need more wires. That's what we're missing on that. So do that. And we need to get some drills going for copper production. I don't know actually how much we can actually make, but if we can get like four drills maybe for the copper smeltery, that should be good enough. I'm also going to need to make some more transport belts, it looks like. So we'll we'll probably, once these build... So we've got five. We'll add one more drill to the coal, probably. Um, but let's switch over to belts. Because we're going to need a fair amount to bring the copper down. I am just going to split the coal right up here to run both the copper and the iron so we're gonna do this uh, it's actually probably well let let's map this out a little bit so I know that's where our iron is we're gonna give it a little bit of space just in case we need to run something between so this will be our copper line um, right there so cool we bring this down like so we can use the furnaces to kind of map out where stuff's going to end up being. Uh, it's not that big of a deal, in all honesty. Like, you know, you can kind of fuck with this and get it set up the way you need it. But anyway, I want to get this set up. Because I know I'm definitely going to need the belts, at least for this. Um, uh, to to get the smeltery going and in all honesty like this smeltery doesn't need to be as big as the iron one to start off with so we're not well we're gonna blue we're gonna set it up with 10 furnaces because i've got the furnaces anyway um but all of them are not going to be able to run like almost certainly all of them will not be able to run because i don't have six drills to put on copper um but that's okay it's not the end of the world so we'll do this cool we'll throw a splitter right here and then our copper and coal will input onto this belt so we can, well, we're gonna need more tracks, but we can put the coal in at least, uh, and then kind of go from there. So throw this back in, build us some more belts because the copper line is gonna be pretty fucking long in all honesty, so not a big deal. We can actually start running it now if we want. So it is gonna need to cross probably. I mean, I guess it doesn't have to. The copper's up here, right? So let's take a look and see where we want to set up our drills. I think, so this, it's not going to mind iron there. Just wanted to double check. So we'll do this and we can start running this down before we power it, I suppose. Break this tree. Not a big deal. We've got more than enough power poles. Um, that's realistically the only thing you need need wood for, um, but it is it is good to pick up. So that stopped producing, that stopped producing, but I think 74 should be enough to get the copper line linked. We're almost there as it is, so um, just do that 
real quick. So I guess the benefit of this is now the coal will all be in position by the time the copper gets here. Uh, we are going to need to build some more inserters. That's a thing. Um, so not a big deal. Let's go ahead and get the power pole set up. And after we get this copper smeltery set up, we're going to go ahead and start uh, building the basic back. Fuck. These are one too far over. God damn it. All right. Well, that's fine. It's easily fixed. You can just throw an extra belt in like this. It makes it look a little janky, but you know what? That's all right. I don't necessarily mind. Um, so there we go. That's good to go. Basically, we'll throw one right there. Um, and actually, we'll take this guy off put it down on the bottom i guess i could actually like, put that on my hot bar because we are using these shitty inserters for now and then just to connect the power and just do that so these furnaces will start or well the two up there will start um getting filled up so let's go over here we've got enough belts so let's switch this over to inserters need gear wheels which we have Throw in some more iron, which we also have. And we need circuits, huh? Damn it. All right. Well, let's build some circuits first. So we'll, we need what? To power all 10, we had five, so we need another 15. And it's three each. Is that right? Is it actually three each? Let me look. One each. So we only need 15 circuits, so that's good enough. Do that. Let those tick over. And then while that's doing its thing we're gonna go ahead and link up those drills and I I guess we actually do have six drills because we can move this one over as well um, so we'll pick up this furnace because we don't need it there anymore throw that guy down and we'll do that Put pull right there right there and right there and then I guess we will just connect it up like that so there we go we've got copper coming down the line now so that is good all we're gonna need are these inserters. I am gonna build a chest just for, you know, shits and giggles more than anything, so. Damn, these take a lot. All right, well, fine. Uh, we'll do this. And actually, I need one more inserter, I think. That is my mistake, I miscounted. But fine, we'll get these guys all placed, or at least the ones we have. So the furnaces will be fueled up and ready to go. So once the copper starts hitting uh, the line, it will automatically start smelting, which will be good. Um, and then we'll have at least a little bit of copper, a little bit of iron um, being produced at this point, which is good. Uh, basically, we can use that to fuel our first basic factory. In between sessions, I did go ahead and pull down some blueprints just so we can kind of show that stuff off too. So we'll make like five of these, I guess. Uh, we need some assemblers, so we'll go ahead and start making those too. Um, but anyway, I pulled down some blueprints for uh, basic factories, basically, um, that are kind of what you're gonna want starting off. So I'm just gonna gather up some of this copper, let that go, cool. So the way you use blueprints, if you push the B key by default, it will open up your blueprint area. Now you can make your own by using these tools down here. So copy, paste, toggle, all, all this kind of shit. Add to blueprint is Alt B, you select an area, whatever. So you can build your own blueprints. That's totally fine, not a big deal. Um, you can also go out and download them. So they're, I think it's called Factorio prints or something like that is where I got these. If you just Google uh, factorial blueprints, early game factorial blueprints, something like that, you'll be able to find some pretty good stuff. So what we're going to do is I think we're going to use this one is the, is the one I liked. So this will build logistics stuff. Can't do everything out of that yet. So red and green plus smelt. I don't really need the smelt. I just need red and green science in all honesty so we can't build everything off of this blueprint quite yet just because we don't have tier two assemblers or the green science research done but what we can do is you take this blueprint and you place it where you want the factory to go so i am going to put it 
right here because it is going to need iron and copper. So I'm just trying to figure out which is which. So it looks like iron goes in from the top. And is that it? I think that's it. Kind of looks like. And then copper goes in from the bottom, maybe. Uh, I actually don't like that blueprint. Fuck that. We're not going to mess with it. Um, come on. Get off my thing. All right. Whatever. I guess that's fine. Um, there's one. I think it's maybe this pack. So this is just a basic one. We're past basic, in all honesty, because we've got the factory set up. So um, where are we at? Red and green. I really just want red, in all honesty. Uh, so we'll look in a different one. Maybe it's this one that had the setup I liked. So gear factory, basic circuits, steels. Um, nope, not that one. So th this is the thing with blueprints. It's not always the easiest to uh, kind of see what, what you need. Sometimes they'll put like chess or whatever to indicate what's supposed to go where. Uh, so you don't have to, like, you know, fucking guess. Um, but it doesn't always work out that way. So this, we can't even really build because we don't have everything. So this just does science. So this is a lab set up so you can put everything in. Um, so, I mean, it'll do reds and it'll do greens ultimately. So I'm thinking that iron goes in on the bottom and then it looks like copper maybe goes in on the top. Is that right? I, I can't, or well, maybe iron goes in both bottoms and then copper goes in from the top. <coughs> Let's just take a look and see if we can figure this out. So that's the wrong direction I'm gonna wanna go. Well, actually, probably like this is gonna be the best. Then I can expand the smelters a little bit. So iron definitely goes in the middle. And then I'm thinking copper probably goes in the top. So there, there's that. That's fine and dandy, whatever. Just throw that in there for now. So let's see if we can figure this out. So iron has to go here because the gear wheels are pulling off of that. Uh, this, what do inserters take? They take circuits, so that's wanting a green circuit input right there, which I don't have built. So let, let's do this. If you control Z, you can close it out, so. Um. So this is basic gears and yellows. I'm just trying to look through these to see which one we actually want to use. I mean, you could just design it yourself as well, which is totally viable. It's not a big deal. I mean, I know we need gear wheels, we need copper cables, we need green circuits, we need uh, tracks, we need inserters to get the first two science packs. I'm just trying to see if there's one that's already kind of like set up for us. So that's a basic one. Um, this looks like you just supply it with coal and the ores and it will do everything for you. Same with this, it just has more smelters is the only difference. So if we try something like this one, we can maybe chop the rest because I don't need all those smelters, right? We just build smelters. Um, so, like, if I do something like that, copper goes in the top, iron goes in the bottom. So, let's do, oh, dead tree. Fucking, fucking trees. All right, let's do that. Um, so, put this away, cool. And I am just gonna use this and delete that off because we don't actually need it. 
cool, fine, whatever. I wish it would go off your fucking hotbar. Like, I, I'm probably just mispushing the fucking button or something, but that's really aggravating when it doesn't leave. So, okay, what we need to do is put copper in here, and we need to put iron in here, and that will kind of get us started. We need 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20... 21, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So 31 um, factories is what that looks like. So not a big deal. We can do that. Uh, I am just going to kind of get this set up more or less for the inputs. So we can kind of just, you know, link them once we're ready. Uh, which we're not quite yet, just because I don't have the assemblers built. But... We can at least get these belts kind of laid out so they're ready to go. Um, not too big of a deal. Like, this is not optimal. Like, really, I should have moved this up a little bit, but the blueprint would have been overlaid on top of my, uh, whatchamacallit, um, the top of the uh, smelteries that I already have built. So, that's fine. Um, we're going to be trying to hook this up. So we did get copper set up, so that's nice. Um, we have, you know, 400 copper, almost 2,000 iron. So we've got some stuffs. Um, we're going to need more transport belts, and we're going to need more factories, but we can place that in there. Cool. We can place down a couple of these inserters anyway. Awesome. And I guess we'll do the copper side first and get the circuits kind of set up. That might be a good call. Uh, we'll grab a couple stacks of iron while we're over here. I need to make more copper cable. And really, I should move this stuff down since we're kind of transitioning where we're doing everything. I'll grab that lab, too, because we can put that in the blueprint. So let's grab some of these. And I want to leave at least one of those assemblers for us to use. The rest of these, not quite as critical. Um, but there we go. We got that. So... Let's see. I need. I've got a fair amount of circuits. We can probably start anyway. I just wanted to get rid of that ore out of my inventory. So let's build some more assemblers. I guess. Got all the stuff to do that, and then we can kind of fill this out a little bit. If we can get at least you know the green circuits and the gear wheels set up, that'll be really useful to us. Um, because we use those all the time. So here's another 10 assemblies or assemblers, whatever. So we'll do this. Do that. Um, getting the... Oh, damn it. Break that. Put that. Um, <laughs> getting these ones all built is actually going to be really useful for us because we need all these items to keep on expanding the factory. If we put down the inserter one as well, that'll be really good. Um, and that will basically give us, you know, the stuff we're using all the time. Um, we're going to need to make more gear wheels. So I am going to steal this one just to make gear wheels because you need a fuck ton of them. It's just, you know, part of how things play out. So let's do some more tracks. We'll use the gear wheels we've got to make some tracks so we can kind of fill out the rest of this a little bit anyway. Um... And if I can get this going, I can go ahead and start building the green circuits. I do need to sync up power to it, however. Aw, oh, damn. Just just barely too short. And that's okay. That's okay, I guess. But go ahead and place the power poles. So those are all running now. Um, so basically, I can connect this up and it'll start, you know, break this chest, break this inserter, and it'll start. So do both. Cool. And let's send in the copper. Fuck it. Let's get this running. At least partially, anyway. So we'll at least go to there. Um, with what we have. And gear wheels we got some more of. We need some more iron, so. Throw in some more iron. Throw in some more gear wheels so we can kind of keep building this out um iron gear wheels and i i mean realistically i guess green circuits are pretty important too but gear wheels uh definitely are one of those things you need a fuck ton of so um 
especially starting off, you know, like everything you build basically takes gear wheels, so kind of is what it is, but there's another 50 tracks, great. That might be able to connect up the iron now. Yeah, we can. So let's go ahead and do that. We need to build a couple more power poles, it looks like. So that's fine. That just gave us a shit ton of iron. Um, grab some more uh, tracks. And really, I guess we can get rid of this one real fast, anyhow. So are these building? It, it needs iron, okay. That makes sense. So, where does this... So it does take a splitter, it looks like, and that's okay. That's what the long arm inserters are for, I suppose. So, alright. I'm just kind of filling this stuff out. We don't actually need... Ah, damn it. I misplaced that. Shit. So that's a splitter. We'll remember that. Um, okay. Fine. So that's going. We need more power poles, so I can make those real quick. Let's build some more cabling, build some power poles, and we'll just build a shit ton of power poles real quick because they're relatively cheap. Um, but anyway, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to let some of these recipes take over so we've got the materials so we can finish filling out this blueprint, and then next time we'll hopefully get this uh, factory kind of up and running, more or less. Um, so we're ready to start actually doing stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and build some more circuits because we're going to need them. But anyway, guys, if you enjoyed the episode, be sure to like, comment, subscribe as always. And until next time, this has been Lone Debater 7, and we will see ya.